Hello, I'm Claire Cheadle, and this is my presentation for the unit Educators Inquiring About the World. This topic was chosen because it's a local issue. It's not attracted much media attention as other world problems. The Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin, also known as a Terciops aduncus, is a mammal. It was recognised as being its own species in 1998, separate from the common bottlenose dolphin. It appears on the near threatened list. Bottlenose dolphins can be found in many places around the world. My research was around those living in the estuary and canals in Mandra, a city situated on the coast of Western Australia, just 72 kilometres south of Perth. The Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin is smaller and has more teeth than the common bottlenose dolphin, which is not endangered. The average length is 2.6 metres and they weigh around 230 kilograms, with males being slightly larger than females. They are happy and social and live in pods of 5 to 15 in shallow saltwater or brackish water, making the estuary in Mandra their perfect habitat. There are an estimated 6,000 Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphins in the oceans. However, the high levels of dolphin transiency and the limited resources makes it difficult to know their true population. It is understood that it's reduced in the past 10 years and there is a risk of extinction around Australia. The following things are a threat to the survival of the Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin. Natural predators, mostly sharks, captivity, pollution, toxic chemicals, microplastics and other litter, and oil spills. This research is around dolphins living in Mandra becoming entangled in fishing line, which is endangering their lives. Fishing line is long, thin, strong and clear, making it difficult to see in water and therefore unavoidable for dolphins. Once wrapped around the body, it starts to cut through the flesh. There are no bones in the dorsal fin that contains main arteries and blood vessels, as you can see in this image. Mandra estuary attracts both recreational and industrial anglers. Carelessness, disregard or lack of understanding can lead to people not correctly disposing of their waste. These reports are evidence of the damage to the marine ecosystems from human interaction. This image shows a dolphin entangled in a fishing line. Once entangled, it's a complex operation to rescue the dolphin and their survival depends on how quickly the issue has been resolved. How can we help? Put pressure on commercial fisheries to be more environmentally friendly. National and local initiatives could include posters that create awareness and encourage use of bins for waste, such as fishing line. These campaigns will be targeting individuals, including locals and tourists. The conservation of the marine ecosystem around the estuary and canals is imperative for the survival of dolphins in Mandra. Saving living things such as mammals like dolphins from extinction and maintaining biodiversity allows humans to rely on ecosystem services Ecosystem services is a term explaining the importance of all living things and the roles they play in keeping the planet alive, creating oxygen for human survival. Taking care of the waterways, animals and all living natural things is helping to preserve the planet for future generations. Dolphins are much loved. People enjoy watching these majestical creatures in their natural habitat. By taking care of our waterways and in turn these beautiful creatures, they can be enjoyed for years to come.